Yesterday, December 7th, 1941, a date which will live in infamy, the United States of America was suddenly and deliberately attacked by the empire of Japan. No matter how long it may take us to overcome this premeditated invasion, the American people in their righteous might will win through to absolute victory. On February 19, 1942, two months after the bombing of Pearl Harbor, President Roosevelt signed Executive Order 9066, which led to the internment of more than 110,000 persons of Japanese descent. Within the racially integrated Temple Street neighborhood of Los Angeles, Belmont High School student Ralph Lazo, who was of Mexican-Irish descent, watched in horror as his Japanese-American friends and their families frantically sold their belongings to prepare for their forced confinement in government internment camps. 17-year-old Lazo, so angered by this unspeakable act, made a bold decision and voluntarily joined his friends at Manzanar. This teenager's act of courage and loyalty was relatively unknown until Milken Educator Award recipient Shannon Garrison and her students at Solano Avenue Elementary School in Los Angeles turned his story into an unsung hero's performance project for the Lowell Milken Center in Fort Scott, Kansas. This internment is immoral. It is wrong for you all to be here. As long as you guys are here, I'll be here too. This is where I'm supposed to be. One of the most amazing parts about project-based learning is that you get out of the classroom. A big part of this project was taking them places where they could experience different things and learn about Ralph Lazo. We went to the Japanese American National Museum in downtown Los Angeles and they had the opportunity to speak with someone who knew Ralph Lazo. Mr. Frank Kikuchi was in Manzanar with Ralph and was a friend of his. When he was there in Manzanar, he was just like the rest of us. He was a prisoner. He couldn't come and go as he pleased. He was a prisoner. Lazo did his best to keep spirits high at Manzanar by organizing extracurricular activities. He was elected class president and graduated from Manzanar High School with his Japanese-American friends. We also had the opportunity to go to Manzanar National Historic Site, and that was really a moving experience, especially since we had met Mr. Kikuchi, and he had told us so much about it, and he was really the one who encouraged us to go. It's nice to visit places and like actually experience what it is instead of just reading it out of a book. In August of 1944, Ralph Lazo was drafted and sent to the Philippines to serve in the U.S. Army. He was awarded a Bronze Star for heroism in battle. After the war, Ralph graduated from UCLA. He became a teacher and later a counselor at Valley College. The performance today was really spectacular because it showed how children can research history, incorporate it into a play, and make it come alive. I hope that every one of these students today will think of themselves sometime in their life when they're called upon, where they will take on the responsibility to help other people, even if it results in some personal sacrifice. I want my kids to have heroes. It gives them an example, someone that they can live up to, that they can become.